And Arthur Taylor and his supporter Hazel Hill join me now in the Auckland studio. Hazel, if I can talk to you first. You are taking Arthur into your home. You've yes. met him for the first time today. Yes. People hearing that will think, you're crazy. <laughs> I know. People have said that a few times. Look, I've talked to Arthur a lot on the phone and um, I have a great respect for his legal skills and yeah i know that he's into upholding the law not breaking it now and that's what that's where we meet on uh, in in terms of interest so yeah i i'm fine with it so you know what you're getting yourself in for yes arthur mm. who's going to hire you 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 want to you want to do good you say you want to mm. work for your money who mm. who's going to hire you well, somebody that, somebody wants to look you know just pass the cover lisa and uh, wants results and not uh, promises you know uh, proven results yeah so I would argue that boredom could be your worst enemy. Oh, could be anybody's worst enemy, yeah. I'm not going to be bored though, I'm sure you of that. I've got plenty of What are your immediate there. plans? My immediate plans are just to relax a bit, you know, get out of the jail, sort of, uh, like, I, it's almost like I feel that I'm still, you know, I'm going to wake up in jail, you know, it's, it's sort of surreal a bit at the moment. But yeah, you know, just get away from all that and just relax a bit, yeah. You made the comment to me today, you had a cheque, it was for 350 bucks mm. when you came out of jail. Um, what's your issue with that in terms of other prisoners? Uh, the, my issue with that is, uh, look, we, we're, trying to, we're trying to reduce re-offending. Every, every, everyone who, who, who we rehabilitate, right, who makes a su successful transition between prison and the community, hey, it could be 50, 60 victims saved, right? $350. The same as was dished out in 1991. That's what they're getting now. I mean, I, as, I, as I think I've noted before, if, if I, imagine if How I got... How long is it supposed to last? Two weeks. Right. Two weeks. Yeah. Imagine if we lock some of our parliamentarians' um, perks in at 1991 levels, eh? What, 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 what they say about that? Has he got a point, Hazel? I think he has got a point, yes. Yeah. Okay, so justice reform, it is a big issue for this government. Yeah. Do you see yourself making a contribution to that and how yeah, so? I, I do, because I, you know, I, 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 I'm not speaking hypothetically or, um, you know, from second-hand sources. I've been at the coalface. I've been, uh, you know, where the, where the rubber meets the road, right at the sharp point of, uh, of the criminal justice system. And I think I've got a hell of a lot of um, first-hand knowledge and experience, and I'm a straight shooter. Have any politicians approached you? Yes, they have. Name some names. Uh, David Seymour, um, people like that, yeah. And what about those working on the justice reforms for the government? Uh, Chester Burroughs, yep. Uh, Chester's very interested in what we can, uh, you know, what contribution I might be able to make. Yeah, funny enough, Chester was a cop that used to chase me around uh, years ago. <laughs> so he's already given you a call? He sent us some emails. Okay. Yeah. So is it likely that someone sitting in a lecture theatre at Dunedin University is going to glance across and see Arthur Taylor? Or any other university in this country? Highly likely. Highly likely. Yep. Law degree or no? I uh, don't really need a law degree, but I do. There's some areas of law I want to bone up on, you know, such as Maori land law and um, some of that, that sort of stuff. Is he employable, Hazel? Oh, well, yes, I think so, because his results are so high, uh, so good. Thank you both for joining me in the studio. Hazel right. Heal, who was taking Arthur Taylor into her home, and Arthur Taylor, who is now a free man. Yeah, I'm going to remain one. <laughs>